Almost all eucalypt plantations in southeastern Australia were conceived to produce wood for the pulp industry, but now the lonely trees idea is catching on as a way of propagating high quality saw logs. Tasmanian Miller Britain's timber is at the forefront of the new regime. There is a difference when you look at it. On this side, Sean, we've got the old style or normal style plantation where you plant a bunch of trees, leave them alone, come back and harvest it in 20 years. Yes. On this side, the new regime. Yes. What's it mean to you as a sawmiller? Well, this, this means uh, prospects of growth in our industry over time because we, we know that this isn't going to produce saw logs, but over here, from what we've seen, it's going to create good quality saw logs in 25 to 30 years which is on top of our current native forest resource and it can mean extra volumes for, for our industry which has got to be good for Tasmania. Saw log plantation should guarantee continuity of timber supply to millers, something which the current native forest strategy is less likely to offer. It will also produce the same size trees in shorter time, using less land to do it. If you look at a, uh, if you're comparing it to a native forest, our native forest regrowth um, that we, that, that forestry Tas harvest and, and supply us with saw logs at the moment, you're probably looking at an age of somewhere between 50 and 80 years old. Uh, we're looking at growing similar diameter to saw logs in 25 to 30 years. In South America, the first of the Lonely Tree Plantations are about to start delivering a return to investors and the scale is impressive. They've just uh, commissioned a, a sawmill that, that processes 400,000 cubic metres of these high pruned saw logs that are 25 years old from this regime. That's bigger than the entire Tasmanian sawmilling industry. and. Uh, so we want to be looking forward, our industry wants to be looking forward 20 to 30 years time and saying okay we, we can be doing this sort of stuff as well, we've got good growing conditions, we've got the species, let's get, uh, let's get some, some, some trees in the ground and manage them for plantations. One of the benefits of having Forestry Tasmania with substantial external consulting business and also with lots of world-renowned scientists is we tend to capture most of the good ideas, um, implementing them sometimes a bit more challenging. But again, a group of um, very experienced Tasmanian sawmillers also went and looked at some of these regimes in Portugal, Spain, Uruguay and Chile, um, where they grow Tasmanian bluegum um, and they grow regimes that produce really high quality sawn timber output. So again, I think we need to pick up the best of what other people have done, the best of what we've done, and with doing those, both those things, I think we can find a much better environmental and jobs and regional development outcome. So next time you drive past a eucalypt plantation, see if you can pick it as a pulpwood or saw log operation. If trees are far apart and look a bit lonely, chances are they're on their way to becoming high quality saw logs in the next 25 to 30 years. And that will give the sawmilling industry the kind of security it hasn't had in decades. <laughs>